My name is Vihan Damaris and I'm a singer-songwriter but most of all I'm a full-time worshipper of Jesus. I had many dreams for myself, many dreams for the future but one by one God would tell me what He wanted for me and one of the first things that He asked me to do is to dedicate my voice to Him and this was a bit of a blow to me initially because uh, I had different plans for myself and I considered gospel music a little bit boring but I couldn't say no because I was close to God and it mattered to me and as I started singing to glorify His name I found such a huge difference and felt so much more peace and joy in, and purpose in singing those kind of songs. So I started composing songs at the age of 15 and uh, recording them and putting them on YouTube and I did a course of communication studies in Mount Carmel College and I was all prepared to go into a job so I knew that I needed to help my family make money but my father he said you know don't work for money it's been three years since I graduated and I have kept asking God God shall I study more shall I work more and every time the only word that comes to my mind is worship me just worship me and so that's what I've been doing these three years and I've been learning so much more about God and more about who I am in God so I've just been continuing writing songs and uh, the things that I know God has gifted me with I've been working on those gifts working on singing working on playing my guitar and uh, how to write songs that connect with people and how to lead people into worship these are things that I've been spending my time learning and working and most of all knowing who my God is a little over a year ago God put in my heart to do four videos a week on YouTube which was crazy but um, for a little over a year I was doing that and I learned a lot about creating videos and mostly about how to connect with people and after that finished God then put on my heart to start a new ministry so recently I started a small ministry of sorts called Haven because I had never seen myself as anything more than a singer I always thought that I would just be doing music and I would just be singing but God was putting on my heart to speak to people uh, along with singing and that was really amazing it's just a group of people meeting together and learning about God, singing songs to Him, praising Him and encouraging each other as believers in this walk of faith. As amazing as it is to see God's glory working in my life and blessing people and to be blessed by other people, it's also, I have to be honest, it's also quite a lot of struggle involved. There's a lot of pressure to earn, a lot of pressure to give your family the best and only the best there's pressure to pay back my student loan there's pressure to show my friends and the teachers who have taught me in the past that i'm doing well and when you follow god you have a great prosperous life in terms of wealth so there are constant thoughts almost every day whether i'm doing the right thing and whether there's something i'm doing wrong is there a way that I can follow God and still make money? He's been saying, don't work for money. And I love what I'm doing, but I don't get paid for what I'm doing. I don't get paid for doing YouTube videos. I don't get paid for doing ministry. But myself and my family know that God has been rewarding us in different ways with peace that passes all understanding, with joy that nothing can buy. When you have God and when you know that He is real and you have that communication and relationship with Him, compared to having everything you need, everything you want and everything you can dream of that money can buy and not having a God and not knowing your purpose and not being fulfilled in what you're doing, and the God who cares so much for a single sparrow will care much more for you because, because we humans are made in the image of God and He 
He cares so much for us that His Son Jesus died for us. He thought us valuable enough to give His life for us. And so, me and my family, we've been holding on to this knowledge that God is not going to let us go hungry and He's not going to let us uh, perish. So my family and I have just been holding on to that knowledge of how much God loves us, that He would give His own Son for us. And knowing that even when we're not receiving as much income as we would like, we've become content in having enough when there's a God who we enjoy every day. And that God and that relationship has become much more valuable than anything that money can buy to us. It's always better to work for God than to work for man because not only will God give you a hope and a good future but also eternal life. I'm Bihan Damaris, I pursue purpose and this is my story.